Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this platform we discuss about design and fashion, luxury and lifestyle, but in a more practical and sensible way every Monday and Thursday. Just a couple of weeks ago we actually took a lovely short mini vacation to Vienna, so Wien, the capital of Austria, and um, it was actually not pre-planned at all, but on the Saturday morning when I woke up I started thinking that is there actually a designer outlet anywhere close by to Vienna because we had kind of decided that Saturday is gonna be the shopping day of that trip and then I found the Baumdorf that pronunciation probably was very interesting uh, designer outlet which is around 40 kilometers from Vienna or, or something like that so not far away at all and um, there is a shuttle bus that goes directly from the city center to the outlet uh, but there was two reasons why we didn't take it one price point two uh, there was only one um, time that we could choose and we didn't really want to be tied to that schedule we wanted to kind of go with our own schedule so we decided to go with public transportation uh, so we just took the train from um, Wien Hauptbahnhof, so the main railway station, uh, towards Pandov. Um, and the train actually continued its way to Bratislava, so to a completely another country. And the train ride took around 30 minutes or so, so it was not long at all. Um, and then it actually was like a 15 minute walk from the train station and then we were at the outlet. So it was like perfect, we could decide when we go and when we want to come back and, and all of that. Mm. And because this was not planned, I didn't really plan on filming anything either in advance. But when we were there, I thought that maybe I would like film something. Uh, so, in this video, you can follow us around when we walk through the more like luxury designer stores. So, I have basically no footage of the contemporary brands or any of the other brands. It's mainly only about the luxury designer shops. Um, and please keep in mind that this was basically a second time vlogging. Uh, the first time was in Paris, so I'm not good at it at all. I still felt very self-conscious while being in the stores and filming. So I can't really say that all the footage is like perfect, top-notch. But I did try to film also some prices of certain items. So hopefully, if you are thinking, if you want to go to the... A pound of outlet that this would actually be of some use to you. Hope you enjoy.
you enjoyed shopping with us at the designer outlet village just a few comments so there are 160 stores approximately and it was a lot bigger than i thought uh, to begin with um, we had decided that we wouldn't spend the whole day there so it basically meant that we didn't have time to go to every store uh, that we wanted because we also wanted to spend some time in vienna and be shopping there so yeah uh, we just didn't have time for everything um if like with outlets i feel like it can be a hit or miss depending on the day pretty much some outlets um uh, that i have been to have been like super great at one time and then on the other time i just haven't found anything and i think that goes with every outlet because uh, you never know what type of stuff is in there to begin with uh, in general, I really, really liked this outlet and I wouldn't really mind going back there. Uh, it was very easy to go there with the public transportation and all that. So, like, why not? Um, then what I bought from there, unfortunately, you'll have to wait to the next video, which is going to be in general what I bought from Vienna. But I have to say that... It is something pretty great with a 70% discount, so maybe you want to stick around uh, for my next video as well, if you want to know what I got. Um, but in general now, when we were there in March 22, uh, quite many stores actually had like a separate shelf with, I don't know, 70% off from like everything in that shelf. And usually those are like very um, bold colors or patterns or like something that really is not that timeless <laughs> uh, or neutral. But this time I did really feel that, uh, for instance, with shoes in many stores, um, the super discounted section actually had some really great shoes in general. Uh, the price points were really good. So based on this experience, I would say yes, uh, definitely worth the trip there. Um, if you are an outlet lover, then yeah, <laughs> obviously. Uh, then the Burberry trench coat that I was trying on in the uh, last clip of the vlog section. That is probably the... Mo uh, the most less expensive one uh, that I have found within the, let's say, past two or three years. So the one that I was trying was around 350 euros. And then there was another one that I did try that was like 310 or something. But just keeping in mind that it was not the classic trench coat fabric. This was more like waterproof type of fabric. Uh, so it's not like the classic one but still the model and style of that trench coat is the classic one so that was a, a good one um i was really tempted to buy uh with that price uh but i still feel like that maybe the more classic fabric and and all that would be what i want so i didn't get that coat but very tempting Altogether, I have to say that the item that I bought or whatever I I bought from the outlet, I didn't really film in those stores because um, I wasn't expecting to find from that one. Plus, it was like the second one we went into. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wasn't really that much on uh, filming mode yet because I wasn't really sure if I was going to do it anyway. Um so yeah, you'll just have to wait and see what it is, but I'm so excited for that. Thank you for following and shopping with me in Bandorf uh, Designer Outlet. Hope you enjoyed and see you in my next video. Bye!